Hello and welcome to Quick Charge. I'm Steven and today is Sunday, March 17. We've recently found out through a job posting found online that Tesla is in search of a new senior manager who will focus on eliminating the need for the automaker service. This new manager will be in charge of a new program called Zero Service. Now, as many of you already know, Tesla's fleet growth has outpaced its service growth, which is resulting in significant issues in wait times for owners to get their vehicle serviced. However, in 2021 and 2022, the automaker made large investments in its service, and combined with lower growth in vehicle deliveries in 2023, there have been fewer issues recently. CEO Elon Musk mentioned on a few occasions that the best service is no service. If the cars don't need service in the first place, the need for great service is not really required. Since Tesla doesn't use the traditional franchise dealership system, it operates its own service and has a very close loop between manufacturing and service. While franchise dealerships benefit from vehicles needing service, since Tesla owns everything, it is better off having minimal service needed for its vehicles. Electric vehicles have some significant advantages on that front, thanks to having fewer moving parts, but issues can still arise. Tesla is finally starting to roll out full self-driving or FSD beta V12 to customers. As usual, everyone should be really careful when using FSD beta. For context, FSD beta V12 has been one of the most anticipated updates to Tesla's ATIS level 2 system, which it hopes will eventually become level 4 or even 5. Many Tesla FSD owners are reporting receiving a new software update, which includes FSD beta V12.3. It looks like it didn't take a lot of time for Tesla to believe it was worth pushing to the wider fleet of Tesla FSD owners. Now, the new update is still listed as beta by Tesla, despite Musk saying last year that V12 won't be beta. As usual, remember that full self-driving beta, despite its name, is not really self-driving. It's a level 2 driver assistant system that requires the driver to keep their hands on the steering wheel and be ready to take control at all times. BMW will launch six Nuet class EVs within 24 months. We got a sneak peek of one of those vehicles, an electric SUV, during an intro video for its new class of EVs. From what we've seen, the new EV concept is a preview of the next-gen BMW iX3. Like the sedan, the SUV version features BMW's next-gen iDrive infotainment. This includes BMW's panoramic vision, a new heads-up display, replacing the classic driver display. With 30% more range than the iX3, the BMW's Vision Nuet Class X could feature over 370 miles of range. BMW's Nuet Class EVs will be powered by its sixth generation e-drive motors and round battery cells to optimize range and efficiency. It looks like Volkswagen may bring the electric hot hatch to the US. Volkswagen wants to launch the electric ID GTI with a starting price between $20,000 and $25,000. After Rivian CEO RJ Scaringe shocked the industry by revealing its really inspired R3 electric crossover, Volkswagen is looking to steal the spotlight. The EV is even smaller and cheaper than the R2, which starts at $45,000. Volkswagen Group America CEO Pablo DC believes the German automaker can match it. DC sees the electric ID GTI hot hatch, revealed as a concept by Volkswagen last September, can find a market in the US. However, as DC explained, the hot hatch EV would need to be at the right price point, which he says is between $20,000 and $25,000. Italian luxury automaker Maserati is now entering its fourth year of its 100% electric strategy and is about to launch its second BEV model, the Grecale Volgore SUV. This is the first model to sit atop Maserati's all-electric Gregoli platform, consisting of 33 modules housing lithium-ion cells, which translates to a 105 kilowatt-hour battery pack. This model is by no means a light and nimble EV, but Maserati aimed to deliver the power it has been celebrated for over the last century. The two 205 kilowatt electric drive motors provide 820 newton meters of torque and can propel this SUV from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4.1 seconds. Now, it's a relatively small looking SUV from the outside, but its 2,903 millimeter wheelbase and completely flat Giorgio platform offers a lot of space for passengers and cargo. 
In today's community comments found on YouTube, someone asked if I have an EV. Now, while I do not have an electric car, I am working on bringing back a 2012 Zero motocross motorcycle back to life with a newly built battery and controller. Unfortunately, the old Zero systems made things very difficult for customers to customize and tamper with, so it's been a little bit of a roller coaster trying to get that running. Thank you all for watching Quick Charge by Electric. I'm Steven, and have a great day.